oops, sorry, my camera cut me off. So I'm gonna finish this up now. I was talking about connecting dots and looking at very, like when you hear someone defending Watchtower, take, take the time to look at who, who is this person working with? What group are they working with? What other clients has that group represented? And play connect the dots, turn it into a game. And going back to this Chessnor group, C-E-S-N-U-R, some of their clients are, or, or other groups who they have represented and defended, the Moonies, Scientology, Deep Pockets, uh, the Japanese, oh, I'm trying to find the page here. Here's to, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put the links below, chestnor.net about. Chestnor, the Center, for, the Center for Studies on New Religions, was founded in 1988. In 30 years of activity, more than 1,000 scholarly papers have been presented at its international conferences and seminars. Many have been posted on Chestnor's website. Others have found their way to international journal, journals. Um, blah, blah, blah. So you can go read that for yourself. But back to... Who they have represented um, these new religions, Scientology, basically groups I would not want to be associated with. So Watchtower, this was the best lobbyist group you could find for yourself, perhaps. But I, I want to thank JM for putting the link in the comment section to this video. As of yesterday, it only had like 1.2 thousand views. And I hope that other activists um, watch the videos and make your own videos about it and bring awareness to this because ultimately the biggest thing that started my whole journey to freedom was receiving a text from a brother who had gone inactive and I wanted to bring him back to Jehovah. And I texted him and I said, we miss you. What do you need? What can we do? And he said, I'm not coming back. And on his list, the, the one that jumped out was Watchtower wasn't, did you know Watchtower was an NGO with the United Nations? And for me, someone who thought that I was part of one of God's one true organization of which I now no longer believe such a thing even exists. I don't believe in religion. I believe in relationship. I believe in, in the two greatest commandments, to love God and love your neighbor as yourself. And you don't need a religion to do that. You don't need to do that in a kingdom hall. John chapter 4, worship God in spirit and truth. Not in a kingdom hall, not on this mountain, not on that mountain, not in Warwick. And so... That mattered to me. Maybe it matters to you. Maybe it matters to someone in your family. But freedom tastes so amazing, especially when you have the contrast of knowing what it feels like to have lived in captivity. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, or at least it gave you some food for thought, and you can go do your own little rabbit hole journey. And it feels good to be able to research and have conversations and not tell other people how to think or what to think, but rather to just, <laughs> we can just love each other. I'm sorry that Watchtower hasn't quite learned that lesson. If only they would just let their people remember, oh my goodness, I'm just getting this image now. Remember when um, Moses kept going up to Pharaoh and kept saying, like, just let them go. Let the Israelites go. And it's like, Watchtower, just let them go. You'll get to keep, like, the diehards. I used to think that Watchtower would crumble and completely collapse in my lifetime, especially because of the Internet and, and how people can research. And then I had a conversation with a good friend a couple weeks ago, and he was saying, like, 
no, Watchtower is never going to completely collapse. And I was like, mm, I don't like that idea. But now that I have kind of thought about it, it's like, you know, you still have the Millennial Dawn Bible students and all these little, you know, off branches from the original Bible students group from which Watchtower split off from. And they're still around. And that's fine. Like, there's always going to be Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, and now that I accept that, it kind of helps me even have a deeper level of peace. But I still think about the families and the children and the grandmas and the grandpas and Watchtower, just let them go. Why do you care about your money so much? And did, uh, who, what were their names? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Did they need a lobby group to like lobby for them before they went into the fiery furnace? Like, could you imagine like, excuse me, King Nebuchadnezzar, let me like call up my lobbyist group. They're gonna like give this presentation to you first. <laughs> Sorry. If, 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 um, how does it go? Laugh, don't cry about it. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of my journey. Thank you for leaving your very intelligent comments in the comment section. And keep thinking critically, keep loving everybody, and just keep swimming. Shalom. <laughs>